Hi there, welcome back friends. Today I am going to show you an interesting app which in which you can send messages to you and your friend easily okay so it does not require any phone number or sim card but it requires internet so let's start building we'll go to our website www.stemdc.in so here it's opening so here we have opened let's start creating our apps so here friends have came and have click then create new project so now we'll give the project name as online discussion okay okay friends let's start our journey it is gonna be very amazing okay so we'll drag and it is so much drag and drop programming first we'll drag and drop so much program then what we'll do we'll program something in blocks okay we'll do some coding and then at last what we'll do is we'll design and I'll also show you how it works okay by showing two windows at a time so let's start so here points have dragged the label here and then I have also dragged the horizontal arrangement just below the level and what I will do now is I'll make the width as fill parent and then I'll drag and drop a button in the horizontal arrangement then after the button I'll drag and drop a text box and then again a button okay so there are one button a text box again a button so first second button i'll rename as submit you can also rename it as send i'll rename it afterwards if you want and then the button one font size i'll increase it first 18 is the font size yeah and the text will be uh, clear background color i'll make i like red and uh, and font color will be white it looks nice in that okay so now what i will do is button one is done and then i will go some random color for button two and that's it as you can see this much is done for but we'll go on and do something more okay this label i'll remove i'll write put your question and answer put your question and answer in capital yeah in text box and click on submit button so basically it's like um, I'll first align it in center which will be fill parent it is basically an online discussion app for teacher and student we can use it that but i'll use it for chatting purpose now i'll simply do now i'll drag and drop a list view below our horizontal arrangement okay and list view background color will be white and uh, text color will be black yeah so as you can see it's almost transparent now we'll do so many things more okay now we need to store our data so i'll drag and drop a cloud db okay so this much is done here and in blocks part i'll program the blocks of our project so let's start in button one i'll button one i'll rename is at clear btn and button two i'll rename it as yeah you know submit btn submit btn yeah so clear btn and submit btn so now let's start programming when submit btn dot click what it should do okay so for that initial first i'll declare a variable so initialize global name to uh, instead of name chat data initialize global chat data to uh, create empty list yeah this much first i'll assign a variable then um, this much is done now i'll go to cloud db i'll take the call cloud db dot append value to list block and as um, 
back what i will do is mm, i i go i will go to text and i'll take an empty text box here and i'll click on chat that text tag i'll make it as chat okay now item to add i'll put i'll take the text box i'll take text box dot text that i should item they should add here okay friends so we have done this much particularly and now we'll also do something more okay so we have initialized our global name we have a function to submit btn now we'll go to cloud db uh, i'll take the when cloud db got value okay then i'll take the block get set tag to so that set will be global chat data because we declared the variable right over there to get tag that tag i'll make it as value okay this much we have done So I'll start. Yeah, now I'll go to list view. I'll take the block which is under the name of set list view dot elements to. Okay, set list view dot elements to. Uh, get tag block. I'll take again here. This will be global chat data. Okay, we have done that much. So, and then what we'll do is again we'll go to cloud DB. And when cloud db data changed, that block will take. Okay, friends. So I'll just copy and paste it here. This also I'll copy and paste it here. Okay. It's basically the same thing. Set global data and set list view elements. It is same. Okay. This much we have done. Yeah. Now I'll take when clear btn dot click what action it should do. So I'll take the call cloud db dot clear tag. Okay, so when clear is clicked, obviously it should clear the tag, right? And under the tag, we'll put the name as chat. Okay, so I'll also duplicate this block and I'll put it down call cloud db when append value to list that block okay and then we have done okay so friends now what we have done so much here is we have done same thing over here i will just do it on my tablet now this is our list view so now let's do something good okay in screen one what i will do is uh, background image i will upload and file Click on choose file. Files. There will be some files. Okay, let's check. Mm. Let's the. Let's take this one. Okay. okay. I have taken that one. And I click on open. You'll get it from Google. You just search some like good themes for chat. Huh? Now let's upload. Let's upload that image. Okay, let's, let's wait for its uploading. Okay, friends, so I have just kept this one over here. So this looks a good theme, right? Yeah. So this also looks good. Let's also add some animations here, like I'll take fade. Yeah. Okay, now what's, what let's should do? What we'll do? Yeah, so we have done this much. Okay, so clear send here. Yeah. Our two buttons blocked, but also we have done nicely. Okay, friends, so that's it. We have completed just by adding a thing. Just you can see how good it looks, right? Yeah. 
we have done this much yep yeah, in horizontal arrangement I'll uh, make the background color as um, let us change the background color here yeah? uh, cyan or orange yeah orange looks good on this yeah so this much is done button 2 and make it red yeah so this much is done okay you can classify according to yourself for me this is looking good and i'll classify so many things according to me okay so here i'll make this it gets camouflaged hmm. Yeah, okay let's pink pink looks good on these both okay so here we have done we'll click on build we'll click on save apk to my computer so let's wait till it gets compiled yeah okay so our apk is ready so i'll just transfer it to my device it is done okay so let's quickly go and download it so i'll go to my files APK installation files download chat me so I've installed it let's wait till it gets installed okay friends our APK is installed now let's quickly go to the AP the app yeah friends now I'll just quickly go okay so now it has come okay friends so here we have opened the bot over here so let's start seeing if it works or not yeah okay friends so here it suppose here where you can see the arrow is my phone and here you can where you can see the cursor now is my friend's phone so let's see if i type a message from my phone will it go to my friend's phone or not so here if i say hi okay okay let me type that hi once i click on send you can see it comes to the other side which means my friend has received it now my, if my friend types hi 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 um john then if he clicks on send it comes to my side so you can see friends if we click on both the sides it can come okay so thank you friends for watching okay friends so thanks for watching so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you